Michaeli Zelder, a Blackman High wide receiver who is committed to MTSU. With Elder being a local kid, it's a pretty big deal to get an offer from MT. I think it's really exciting for the hometown to uh, get an in-city kid, uh, and, and they have a lot to be excited about in Michaelis. We know with Michaelis that he has the ability, you know, to go in and play, and that lets me know how high they think of him to be able to bring a local kid in who may not be the tallest, but skill set-wise, he, he's a dynamic kid. Being a top player on the team, you got to give the young players some guidance before you leave. Camden, let's go. Practice is more of a, that's the best guy. It's more of a, I'm going to teach you how to do this and that. And most likely they're going to listen because they see that we're getting offered. So, I mean, it's really a pleasure to be like one of those top commits. Once Michaelis Elder gets to MTSU, he hopes to continue his success like he did at Blackman by being a student first and an athlete second. Elder is big on his education. All right. All right. My mom always told me, I always get your education no matter what. So, I mean, I listen and I always was a and B student always, no matter what, always, because nobody can take away this right here. Oda isn't the only big time talent. He also has Trey Knox, who is an SEC commit on the other side of the ball. So what keeps them from both getting a big head? Just balancing things out. I expect high expectations from both of those guys. And they come in, you know, week in and week out, understanding that at any given night, one of them has to be the Jordan and the other has to be the Scotty Pippen. Elder is hoping for a chance to get a ring.